It's Saturday morning. It's packed with the Oki Shaver. It is, uh, like I said, Saturday, February 10th. Uh, want to share a shave with you today. Uh, be using some, this is all pretty much older classic stuff. Uh, the shaver we're going to be using is the uh, uh, Jim Micromatic uh, Open Comb. And if you've never used one, seen one, this is, they open, this is just a twist to open. You. <laughs> Put your blade in, slide it down to the blade stops, make sure it's centered, and then if you look, it just closes and it slides forward. It's a neat mechanism, in my opinion. I used to know when these were made, I don't know anymore. It was the first uh, micromat of the Micromatic line uh, made. Then you had the clog proof and then the, um, yeah, I forgot. Wing, uh, flying wing, sorry. Darn, already. Uh, but we'll be using uh, that razor, uh, some uh, vintage Williams. It's going to be one of them, I can already tell. Uh, some vintage Williams in this old uh, mug that I found. And, uh, the brush we'll be using is a vintage butterscotch cleanso with a, uh, I think it's a maggots knot that's in it, but um, I love this little brush. love the size and the shape of it. And then for <clears throat> aftershave, we'll be using, this is uh, the Spirit of St. Louis bottle made from 70 to 72, and it came with either Windjammer Excalibur or Excalibur aftershave, and this one's got Excalibur in it. Uh, it's full. It was a gift to me last year, my birthday, from my buddy Rob out in California. Um, so yeah, I saw that um, Ken's shaves, Ken shaves the Ken serves. Darn it! Sorry. Um, he did a. He's getting into the vintage Avon decanters, so uh, I thought I would. Do a uh, Avon shave, Avon aftershave shave. <sighs> Having a rough one already, guys. Sorry. I uh, hope this finds you all good and well. Um, we're doing okay here. My wife finally she had to go back to the doctor Thursday and get some antibiotics and antibiotics and some you know, a pack of steroids, Z pack, I guess what they are, or what she got. And. Um, She's actually feeling better now. Having my dad's birthday dinner tonight here at the house. So we've got some running to do. He always wants something easy. Sandwiches or hot dogs or <laughs> something crazy like that. So we're having sandwiches tonight. That's gonna be plenty, so I will wet the face and get on with this shave, and hopefully my talking gets a little bit better. I don't know. We'll see. I didn't shave yesterday. <clears throat> For whatever reason, I got up and just didn't want to. So we got a little over a day's growth here. And I figured the uh, Micromatic would be a good candidate to knock their stuff down. So Williams is pretty good stuff. I'm a proponent of the vintage soaps, as you all know.
HD Shays put out a video last week. I think I just saw that he put up another one. I'll have to watch that one here in a little bit. He went for a long time without doing any videos and I'm always curious of his take on things and just what's going on with him. I think that's gonna work and if you happen to if you don't have a micromatic the open cone version especially if you have never used one when you do use one just be careful with it because they will bite it's a light touch I'm telling me more than y'all The world's worse about using too much pressure and paying for it. I don't usually cut myself, but I used to get razor burned a lot. And I attribute it to using too much pressure. Got some good answers last week on the question. I'm trying to think of one now to ask. <clears throat> one thing I am curious about, now I have, I wouldn't say an extensive collection of things, but I have a lot of stuff. And nothing's really, I'll, I'll, I'll phrase it like this, is there, Stuff that you have that you just don't use, you just have it to have. I don't know. Maybe that's not a fair question. I don't have everything I, I have I use if, if I can. I have some razors that I probably should get rid of because they've got a missing uh, blade stop or something like that. And this the one I'm thinking of is a razor that you, you need a blade stop on. Uh, I don't have the skill to put one on there. I watched a video on how to do it. I'm not that guy. Who could do that? So, yeah, is there anything in your collection that's just off limits to use? You know, something that you, or maybe you're not a collector. Maybe you're a one soap at a time guy that you only use one aftershave. That's, you know, or maybe you don't collect soaps, you only collect razors, or you only have one brush, or something like that. That's more along the lines of what I was going to ask. Is there... Because I, I, there are people that I've seen on the forums that just, they use one soap until it's gone. Could I do that? Yeah. Do I want to do that? No. Now, I will have some that once I get down low, I'll try to knock them out. <clears throat> but, yeah, is there something that you're a collector of, but you're not a collector of everything shaving? You know, I have a bunch of old blades, but not because I collect old blades, just because they came with things I bought. I have a lot of uh, brushes, but I'm not really a, a brush collector. I'm not really a <coughs> a razor collector anymore either, per se. I, I have a lot of razors, but I don't seek them out to buy them anymore. I've sold some of the things that if I were a collector, I would have kept.
most guys I know are not. Does that make you a soap collector if you have a lot of soap? Or does it just mean that you like variety? Can you collect soap? I don't know. I've got a lot of vintage soap that I'll probably never get to. But I don't consider myself a soap collector. I don't know. Some of the weird things run through my head sometimes. So my dad turned 77 this, this, this last week on the 5th. We're having a, like I said, a supper for him. And I think we're taking him to, uh, next weekend we're renting a cabin up on uh, Beaver Lake. I don't think he knows about that yet, but The weather's nice, which I don't know how it's going to be. We'll have to see. Maybe get him out and do some. He loves to fly fish. He ties flies all the time. He's got a room in his house dedicated just to tying flies. Not exactly sure there's a place to fly fish there a river, but I think there's the White River's not far from there, I don't think. We've been threatening to do this for a long time and just haven't. <clears throat> so we've got a it's not a cabin, it's a pretty nice house. Appears to be. We'll see when we get there, I guess. But my sister has uh, got for us. He's always complaining about his watches. And my sister and I went in and bought him a new uh, Seiko watch. Hopefully he'll like that. It's not a grand cycle or anything like that, so. I've tried to think of a way to describe this Excalibur aftershave I'm going to use, and uh, I never come up with anything fitting. That's an awful good shave right there. You even got to hold my trouble spots. Yep, nice. It happens sometimes. <coughs> but I have a uh, an Avon. I have a lot of Avon decanters, as most of y'all know, and uh, I have a. It's called the Avon Bottle Encyclopedia, and it tells you because certain bottles had certain aftershave in it. Or cologne and it tells you when they were made or what years they were uh, available what what was the few things that was in them and 
So I need to know that. So if you're looking for a specific aftershave, which I was for a while, it tells you which bottle had what juice in it. So you're not looking at air every single thing you come across. Yeah, pretty good shave up there. All right, <coughs> Avon Excalibur. This is one of them bottles that you have a hard time <laughs> pouring and holding and getting the lid back on and everything, but I like this bottle a lot. Bear with me. There we go. And mostly Avon will get with you. Yeah, this is a nice scent to me. I can understand somebody not liking. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of wild country. A lot of people love it. My dad, my uncles all really enjoy it. And I have some that I wear occasionally, but it's not my favorite. But uh, Deep Woods is probably my favorite. I do like uh, wild country musk. I've got a bottle of that that I wear now and again. This is kind of a Cologne type scent, I guess. Uh, I've, I've heard it described that like that before. I have to agree with that. All right, <clears throat> let me recap and I'll get off here and let y'all go. Uh, so today we use the Micromatic Open Comb. MMOC is what you'll see it described as. Um, Fuzzy says you don't need to because it's the original Micromatic, and that's kind of true. And the uh, Vintage Williams and the uh, antique mug here found this in Fort Smith. I really enjoy having it. Um, the Vintage Cleanso Butterscotch with the, um, I think it's Finest Badger or something like that. I get confused with all the knots. And then um, the Excalibur and the uh, uh, Spirit of St. Louis Avon decanter. Um, this shave went pretty quick, it seemed like. Uh, no, we're at 18 minutes. I'm sorry. Um, Anyhow, I'll get off here and let y'all go. I appreciate you uh, spending your time with me. Um, I do appreciate that. Any new subscribers, thank you so much. Don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you are. <laughs> um, be careful and safe out there. Um, stay safe and healthy, and Lord willing, we'll see y'all next Saturday. Thank you a bunch.